So my name is John Gray. I'm Director of Further Education here at Hemsey. I think it's absolutely critical and I think it's become even more important in the minds of some senior managers since um, the introduction of the new Ofsted framework. Um, so we, without using labour market data, um, talking to employers, getting a really good understanding of, of local stakeholders, um, I think it's going to be really difficult to show um, the intent of the curriculum. Um, so I say to colleges you need to get a really good benchmark, you need to understand um, where you are now and where you're moving to. Um, and by doing that, you can, you can show the distance travelled and you can actually use data to show that you are meeting the, the skills needs of the economy. I think there are a number of things really. Um, the, the most fundamental thing is to make sure that the curriculum is aligned with um, the needs of the local, regional and national economy. Um, and to do that, you've got to get a good baseline and a good starting point. So using labour market data um, as part of the planning process is, is critical to getting that and um, getting that initial understanding of what's happening within the economy. Um, often from experience, what colleges will do is they will focus either um, quite narrowly um, on their very local area or they'll look too broad at a more regional area. And by doing that, they miss key um, issues and opportunities. Um, so what we always say is to start off quite broad and, and then work your way into to quite a level of detail. Um, so what, we, what I'd always um, say to colleges is to make sure that they're using that labour market information, that they're talking to employers, that they're understanding the needs of key stakeholders, and then from that they get a really good baseline in which to move forward um, and start their curriculum planning. EMSI helps colleges with curriculum intent in a, in, a, in a number of ways. So our data is, is very sophisticated. We can um, drill down to very localised data on very particular industries and occupations in very specific geographic locations. Um, but we can also take the much broader regional view and national view. So we can make sure that colleges have a really holistic look at the skills needs um, of, of the local and broader economy. Um, Historically, whereas um, EMZ data has focused on, on occupations and, and on long-term projections, we still have that data which is vital, but we're now augmenting that with um, really rich data on job post analytics so we can see real-time what's happening in the local economy. And, and that's critical to making sure that um, colleges can build in those skills needs and knowledge needs into their curriculum. So they're getting a really robust data set which allows them to track progress. They can see um, where they started off initially in terms of their, their curriculum planning journey and how they're making those changes over time. Um, so they'll be able to talk to Ofsted um, and other stakeholders about how they're reacting to that, that intelligence and making changes to inform their curriculum, um, making sure that they're meeting the regional and, and local skills needs.